Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do a career in money reading for Libra, any placement of Libra. Everyone's welcome. Let's get started with some Oracle cards. The first one out you have is time out, Libra. Time to take a little time for yourself. This is about those silences, those breaks, those rest periods being just as important, sometimes even more important than being active at all times. All right, let's see what else we have. And Libra, this is a message that's been coming up in your weekly readings for me and those timeless ones that I do, that there's a lot um, to be learned from silence. You know, like stillness is not being stuck, making me think of hanged man energy, four swords. All right, you have divine timing. Yeah, things will, nothing's going to pass you by Libra that is meant to be yours. You may have heard that before. Uh, this is about someone actually could intercede on behalf of you libra and help you out in some way and you know so if it's a tarot card it'd be sort of like the wheel of fortune so um the wheels turning in your favor even if you do have to take a little bit of respite for yourself libra rest is not quitting and sometimes you know i mean we get a lot of information from those um, times when we're allowed to quiet things and get some clarity take heart so a light heart carries you through hard times remember this too shall pass it's all temporary the good and the bad so that's why it's so important to appreciate each each moment and be present what else do we have for libra do check out your other readings with me your weeklies your monthlies your yearlies the timeless readings i do shorts lots of libra stuff here oh what else what do we have okay tarot wise we have oh my goodness the sun so this couldn't be really a better card this is like probably the best card in the deck depending on who you ask <laughs> sunshine here um this is about that new vitality i do still i'm getting that message that there may be some sort of a break that's needed a time out just to just to get some clarity even if it's just taking an afternoon to yourself you know or you know if you can't do that a uh, 10 minutes a 10 minute walk or just resting your eyes for 10 minutes you know, it's interesting. We have the moon card here, full moon and Leo here coming up. Um, and this, so it's like something that wasn't revealed yet is going to come out into the light. It could have to do with something with that person kind of steps in on in your behalf or uh, something, a good surprise kind of out of nowhere. Um, but with these cards, we have Leo energy. We have Pisces and Cancer for this moon card. Um, I always consider cancer the moon card even though it's pisces technically uh there's something that might not come through in a straight way you you imagined it's almost like rather than being um it, it's kind of like rather than being straightforward yeah it's like diagonal or or something it's it's just not it's not maybe exactly where you were headed but then you find out that this actually could be better Maybe you've had your heart set on one way of something going and then it comes out in a different way. And that may be actually coming to like or coming to um, get to light. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's see what else we have. Some of you may have had some um, people kind of not revealing everything to you as well. You may be finding out about that. You may be noticing some details in some sort of a contract or just that there could be a job description that is not what you thought it was um, maybe you're pointing that out but these messages are general they're not personal they're they're actually only going to resonate with some of you of course um, check out the description for all the decks i use and the disclaimer reminding you where you have free will final say your intuition knows best and oh my goodness this is really a very good reading so far libra this queen of swords once this news or this um, revelation that you have on your own perhaps stemming from this time of silence um, and lots of patience i can see you've been very patient i can feel that i just was okay i'm supposed to flip this now all right so my guides just guided me to flip this fortune cookie over right now and i wasn't going to until the end but you have opportunities and you have surprise all right so i'm still getting something about the details though and I know these are outdated, but I just heard something about facts. It's either fax machine, which would be the outdated thing, or it's like, get all the facts about this surprise opportunity, even though it may seem really good, um, get all the facts. Some of you are working with family too, or um, very close 
close loved ones. We have the Queen of Swords and we have that Ten of Pentacles. So I really do feel the overall goal here is, is to, um, you know, get very clear. Things are finally getting clear. It could involve um, someone much older than you or much younger than you even. We've got children here. We have the children here. Um, so it could have to do with, uh, for some of you, this may have to do with some sort of inheritance. I'm not sure. Some of you are in the spotlight I'm hearing. So this opportunity is a stranger is about to change your life. It could be some sort of special family reunion. We have family here. So whatever's going on um, career money wise at this time. So I say money because maybe some of you are retired. Um, and so there could be something about mm, making sure that uh, like your retirement is set up properly, pension, whatever you have, your 401k. And there's something about um almost like naming a person to be the um to be the like the executor or or something um there's a surprise here okay so after a period of disappointment you could end up having some sort of a surprise invitation even i'm getting something about taking legal action for some of you there's some sort of um an endorsement someone needs your your, or you need official an, an endorsement for some documentation. And it could be clerical. I'm getting clerical clergymen too. So it could be um, something to do with, you know, needing to go by the book on something, Libra. And that could be this Queen of Swords is like, maybe that's what that energy with the Queen of Swords is. For some of you though, that Queen of Swords is just, I always say this, she just cuts out any drama. She She's not going to, whatever's not necessary and isn't contributing to her growth. She's actually cutting that out right now. She's extremely decisive here. You can tell she's really good at um, analysis. Uh, I, I, that's our card, Libra. So, um, you know, or one of our cards and air signs in general too. Um, she's leaving it all behind. She's leaving the rest in, uh, behind. Okay, so leaving it all behind. I'm getting something very much like if it doesn't suit if it doesn't suit them, they're leaving it all behind. But something something comes to light here. Something that was hidden comes to light. Okay, you do have a bit of like fortune after um, a hard time coming in with the surprise too. Um, it's really It does affect your legacy. This is earth sign energy. You see the two dogs here. You have two dogs here and you have a wolf and a dog here. Um, so really this has to do with um, your leadership, your ability to be with the pack or be the leader of the pack or even go out on your own. You kind of have all those qualities and this queen of swords gets to choose this person is someone who who knows all the options and doesn't overlook opportunities so you want to make sure you're seeing all the options all the opportunities and not letting something pass you by if you haven't heard back on something it doesn't mean that it that um it slipped away or that it's closed yet okay it could there, there could be some sort of hang up all right as um some things are sorted out there could also be some sort of staffing issue where the st the person who's supposed to contact you um, just hasn't gotten back to you. There's that's only probably going to be like a couple people's messages. Um, let's see. I'm getting magician energy right now, even though the magician's not here. So remembering Libra that you have all these tools apparently, right? You have all these tools necessary um, to to help bring in what it is you desire to manifest it to create it. Uh, there's almost a little bit of an air of magic around at this time. Um, I just heard something about uh, Pluto as well. So it's a big transformation you're able to create. Um, I just heard something about a dynamic duo. You may be finding a partnership. And then we have this tower here, Libra. Okay, so the tower here. Um, now, usually what happens with the tower, and this could come quickly here with the eight of eight of wands. You, this could be some sort of message that comes in fast and it causes you to react immediately or it propels you into the next step. I've been picking up on this sort of energy with your readings lately, Libra, of, of some sort of revelation comes to comes into the spotlight. That's that moon and sun energy sort of balancing each other out. And um, you could be, there could be a need for negotiation, but for some of you, there's, you, for whatever reason, maybe because you're you're dealing with another party who is either immature or not willing to compromise or their goal isn't to get along, you know, um, or to make things work. That could be what causes this tower that it's almost like you're you're having to jump ship in a way. Um, and it, it does, it happens quickly. I do see butterflies here on this card, Libra. 
uh, little little baby butterflies. It looks like you can see that without being glared with the light. But there are butterflies here, and that does have to do with transformation. So this is actually a fabulous card to have after that that destruction of the foundation here. That could be also why I heard about Pluto, because that is you know the planet of, or one, among other things, it's it's destruction, creation, and transformation. These fire energy here. It's kind of, I'm just, I keep hearing, um, and I, this came up in another one of your readings, strike while the iron's hot. So if there is some sort of opportunity going on right now, you're grabbing a hold of it now. You're not waiting. You're not sitting around fearing what might happen or overanalyzing or anything. This queen has made up their mind, all right? They're very clear at this point. And maybe because you've been at sort of a standstill or whatever, you're very clear as far as what it is you want. Mm-hmm. Let's get... Um, um, I always go where I'm guided as far as my decks. Okay. Whoop. Whoa. So I actually have four messages. Wow, that's kind of a lot. Uh, like, uh, picking up on something sort of emotionally heavy too. Mm, all right. So shopping. Okay. You could be looking around for a better offer. This could be a warning for some of you, you know, watch your spending as far as shopping. Or it could be, again, just because there's surprise awesome opportunity comes in doesn't mean you have to take it. You may want to shop around. There's a lot of growth here, Libra. I, I just said, you know, you're very clear now on what it is you want. The opinions of others do not matter as much as they may be used to. And again, there's something here about different generations. Maybe this is some sort of family business or something. Credit repair. Some of you are repairing your credit, your finances. You're actually heading in the right direction, though. And again, I, this compass here reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune. You're very clear. You're, the, the path ahead is... is um, very uh, clear now, and that just came up in I think your weekly reading, the path ahead is clear. Um, one of those readings I did, maybe even a short, but some of you are just getting your finances in order. And that, yeah, that you're heading in the right direction. Uh, the numbers 212 could mean something, February 12th, even February 11th came up. You're not playing games anymore, okay? Um, also, I'm getting a message randomly. You know, someone cut back on drinking or quit altogether. I just want to say congratulations. Um, that's a very, that's a difficult step to make. And you're on the right path, definitely with that, especially with this card here. But yeah, so let's go ahead and see. Oh, I just heard Marcus. I heard the name Marcus. And it's something about diamond ring and a Cadillac. So those could all be separate messages or Marcus is going to propose and he drives a Cadillac or it's something like um, you're moving on from somebody named Marcus. Maybe at one time you were married or you considered marriage, but but the name uh, Marcus or any sort of variation of that is coming through. OK, um, and so the, this person could have made you feel like you were kind of on your own, eventually abandoned. But or this could actually be the person who's helping you. OK, and then, again, it doesn't they don't have to be named Marcus. So I'm picking up on lots of different energies all at once. Like I have like four going right now. So this may be connected. I also just picked up on Cancerian energy, even though I didn't see it here. You'll notice sometimes Libra, I do speak rather quickly uh, as I'm channeling messages. And that is something that I cannot control. Otherwise I'd be sort of blocking the, the channel a bit. So I need to just kind of let it go. You're, you can always uh, rewind if you need to. So feeling that, you know, this could have been a support to you, you could feel like you stayed in something too long because it had this sense of uh, support, knowing this, you knew what to expect, but it was like at your own detriment, okay? It was something that you eventually flee from. Um, it looks like eventually you get a way out. There's some sort of big catalyst for change. It could be that revelation or you're just really seeing things clearly, All right? I can see clearly now the rain has gone, mm, okay. This wasn't a true, um, this person wasn't a true helper, all right? The best help you're going to get is from yourself. The M, oh my goodness, Libra, and the Ten of Cups. Excellent. So communication could be coming in quickly. You could actually get a really good of something very, very inspiring uh, after this time of enlightenment here. Okay, I keep taking it away. And then you've got this this three of um of wands. Let's talk about all these. I mean, they're very, actually, the way they came out all in a group like that, as I was talking about, you know, maybe feeling as though somebody who maybe was a martyr even, or someone who act, or it was, you were in maybe a situation or a position where you felt as though um, it was, uh, you know, 
like say you're in a bad relationship or you're in a bad work situation or whatever and it's like kind of like all you have that's actually false that is not all you have this card can sometimes though make us feel like we're we're stuck when we're not or and sometimes it can be an indication that we need to sort of let go of those supports and kind of go out on our own too um because that support might actually be hurting you more than it's helping you that's the message right there simplified empress energy your card here libra um the empress you know they're in the flow they they possess the uh, energy of all four queens here so uh, again it's sort of that like they're magician like in that they um they have all they need to nurture anything to grow something this is a very fertile time for you libra um i just heard something too about an auction auctioning things up maybe you're trying to sell things uh on some platform or something like that you're trying to sell things off or maybe you're shopping by getting things that are you know online are gently uh, used or <clears throat> or for auction there's um now the energy is really calming down all right it's coming a lot slowly so when we hit this empress things can finally settle down they feel very fast paced kind of that it was very much revved energy like you want to go 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 but it could be that there might be a little bit of uh, of waiting still, a little period of waiting. Um, we have the three of want, yeah, and look at that. Remember the hangman came out. Okay, all right. So, so there's this fertility. You may be turning your back on something and making a better decision. Um, that goes along really with this sort of energy that I'm picking up on. It's kind of like I feel like there was. This may have been a long time coming, but then there might have been something, a catalyst at the very end, or again, a big reveal that then frees you and you no longer feel bad about it or whatever. You just, that was like your limit. Like you hit, they hit your limit. So you like, maybe you reached your limit on something and now you're out. Like, I'm tired of this. I'm out. You know, um, hanged man in for, um, hanged man. This is, I feel like this is like over here. So you have this, you have this pause here. Um, also, I'm picking up on brother energy. If some of you have a brother passed in spirit, I am getting something about that right now. Um, this person may have worked with their hands. They could have also um, been uh, a very, just a very active person. Um, kind of uh, can also come off as a life of a party, but but it's weird because it's not weird. It's um it's interesting because like myself, when they're in a group, they seem extroverted, but when they're on their own, they're very introverted and they prefer to be introverted. So there's something about that kind of energy too with this. All right. Um, Self-esteem. We need to work on that possibly, Libra. Um, you remembering that in fact, you are an empress. You're, you're always an empress. If you're sick, if you're not able to work towards your goals right away, um, you're still an empress and you're still manifesting what it is you want. I look at the three of wands as, as uh, you know, it's, it's connected to the to magician to um to the uh let's see magician to the um two of wands as well and the two of wands like they haven't gone out of their comfort zone yet here you're prepared for that you're you're leaping and you're diving and you're going out of your comfort zone here you've had that clarity from that maybe it's a time alone we're getting number four coming up you actually you have double threes so three three libra is coming up for you right now three three and then you have um you have 10 10 as well so we have 3 3 and 10 10 here in this reading um some sort of you know once you've made up your mind and you've cho chosen like 100 percent in your mind or maybe not 100 you know we're really 100 percent sure of things um then things can move quickly things may move quickly all right but um somebody may be rushing back to you by the way this is a, a air sign energy too um so there's see this this is such an, an inspirational card of hope too here libra it's like it's like we're zooming in on this person's hand um you know like we're zooming in on on this three of wands um where they're not just waiting for their ships to come in sometimes though it can be sort of like a pause in the growth but you're still growing um like with plants they grow so slowly we don't really notice it until one day we look at them and we're like wow that thing grew like a lot you know <laughs> so that's happened to me <laughs> um plants love reiki by the way so even doing reiki around plants they just like they shoot up it's awesome um so you're grabbing a hold of 
of your strength, your own power. It's coming from within you, Libra. I just heard patty cake, patty cake. So um, P Patty, Pat, Patricia, any variation of that, they want me to flip a card on that. There's some sort of, um, <clears throat> someone wants to have a truce with you, okay? There's some sort of truce. I'm hearing, you know, like, okay, so somebody may want to have a truce. You may have to be um, somewhat, well, okay, looks like we're flipping this card. Discernment, false narrative. So just be mindful of the story you're telling yourself, right? Okay, so having a negative narrative is destructive and it's simply not true. You could have had words with somebody or you yourself or had some sort of conflict within yourself um, here. And this is about not listening to the ego-based story. You should have done this. You should be here. All those judgments, harshness we put on each other or ourselves. But this is a story that, because that's about old conditioning, Libra. That could be about what this five of swords energy was. Again, it could be an air sign. It was someone maybe who really cut you down with their words or there's just not good communication overall. It could have been a very selfish energy too that you are or were dealing with. So for every negative thing though that you're telling yourself, make sure you replace it with three positives, okay? Um, for every one thing you think about you don't have, try replacing it with three statements of gratitude. Um, just see the truth of who you are because you're magnificent, you're radiant, you're, you're able to do this. Oh my goodness, you have 10, 10, 10 now because here this comes, and it leads to your 10 of cups, your ultimate wish, fulfillment, happiness. Now, I just heard spaghetti dinner. It makes me think of like a church or something too, or just like spaghetti. And someone says it's spag heady. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure if they're in, are they? It could be actually, it can be here or there. There's actually more than one spag heady I'm picking up. Okay, so I think that's funny, uh, spag heady. Um, yeah, so that's funny. <laughs> All right, so you have that 10 of cups here. Again, with the children, there's something here about possibly even three generations. All right, maybe going back three generations. That could be you fixing old um, generational karma, wounds, that sort of thing. Um, someone, I also have generosity here. Sometimes when we donate, we, we get more back than we give, even that feeling of satisfaction or whatever. But um, this is about, because when you give, you receive not just um not just uh you know feeling good about it maybe but but also it's kind of telling the universe i'm ready for something else to enter because i'm clearing this out a lot of you are probably reorganizing your life your your place your um even going through shelves some of you are going through boxes and shelves and, th and you're just sort of like maybe not having so much out in your environment and maybe you're also getting rid of like you're donating clothes and stuff and picking up on um, I just heard something about Levi as well, Levi. And I heard Penny and Nicholas. So I'm getting that Penny again, as well as Nicholas. Yeah, some of you may be feeling kind of um, boxed in, okay, actually. And then and then being able to um, control some things in your life and in your environment right now, like your fitness, your health, your diet, your um, how much you have out in your environment or what's in your environment like as far as like your living, like what's right in front of you, your desk, that sort of thing, those tidying up. It's like you can't make the full move on maybe, but you're trying to figure out how to like organize things so that it's less harmful to you right now or so that it's uh, less uh, burdensome because you, maybe some of you can't take flight yet. But that is that is coming in. I just heard March, April. Some and I heard Maggie. Some of you are, are that by that time, you're going to be able to make this happen, it looks like. Um, Again, for some of you, you don't see it coming. And that's, it's really cool, actually. Um, hold on. Yes, yes. Hold on. Hold on a little longer there, Libra. Um, a feather in hand is better than a bird in the air. All right. So play it safe for the time being. I don't really, I never understood that saying. I don't, some sayings are just, I don't know if I'm too literal or what, but I'm also, I'm also very metaphorical. So I'm not sure, but a feather in hand is better than a bird in the air. So I guess like be grateful again, be grateful for what you do have and that sort of thing and control what it is you can. Um, all right. Uh, in your, in your environment or in the situation, um, because that'll make you feel more empowered too. Okay. Let's get one of these cards. Look at the overall outcome, Libra, 10 of cups, really. This is not after period. This is after, you know, a difficult time too. It's a, there's been a lot of strife and grievance I've heard. So this is your power statement. Okay. This, so, um, you know, other planets in the solar system have many, 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 many moons. And so this, one of these uh, moons is Prometheus 
And this is about planning, all right? This is really um, getting that knowledge that you need. This is about um, you know making that connection between uh, skill and talent and education and how they all come together. And that's what could maybe get you what you want in this. So the power statement here, Libra, is money flows to me easily as I harness my natural skills and talents. So natural ability is almost like, um, you know, topping um, my, uh, formal learning. It's kind of like, um, it's about, it's not even about the experience maybe. No, it is. But it's like some things just come more naturally to others. Some people just seem to be better at painting or better at musical instruments or better at writing, better at math, whatever, you know. Uh, some people are better tarot readers than others because some people are more uh, intuitive than others even. And just, you know, it all depends. So using those natural skills and abilities and how can you showcase them, right? Always come from that strengths base when you're talking about yourself or even anyone learning. Um, well, this card came out. Rebirth, the Robin. So a new version of you is coming to life, Libra. You're shutting the old and embracing the fresh new start. Now, this is with like such joy too, I'm feeling. Such joy coming in. Oh. I just heard something about these city streets, these city streets, city lights. Wish come true, Libra, my goodness. So this is, again, your wish is coming true, all right? So it's just what you need. No worries. Things are coming in. Um, it could actually, it, again, like I said, it may not come in the way you expected. So it is about getting those wishes, but it may not come in the way you expected. And some of you may have, um, you may uh, blow on the dandelions, right? And um you may actually, for some, oh, wow, Libra. I flipped the top card. I thought I was done with the tarot cards, but I was guided to it. And here it is, the full card. But what I was going to say is, and that's, we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, I was, I was going to say that this, this wish come true, um, the, or the dandelions here, uh, some of you may have someone in spirit or you yourself are, do those blowing the dandelions. It's super cute. And I also just got this image of like, you know, when, um, so I used to work with young children for many years and they, you know, sometimes I would be like out on the playground or whatever, you know, I was doing with them or just even babysitting somebody or whatever. And they pick these flowers with their little hands, you know, and then they bring them up to you and they're all warm and wilted. And they're so proud that they finally have something to give. Oh, it's making me get all teary. There's a message in that. Okay. Um, you may feel even that you don't have much to give or much to contribute, but you definitely do. You, it could be that you're just not in the right place or you're not around the right people. Okay. Uh, this is surrendering fear too, but uh, I love that little, uh, you know, when they come up and the, and the stems are just so warm, they've been holding on to them and the, you know, they're already, things are wilting and it's just so cute though, because it's like sometimes for children, that is the first gift they ever give someone. And so it's such an honor to be chosen that that child chose you. You may be feeling, um, You've been chosen for something, Libra. It may not be here yet, but you've already, it's already set. It's already like in the, it's in, it's in progress. Okay. Surrender fear though. Let go of the fearful stories you tell yourself. Okay. Again, staying present in the moment. This fool, he, they stay present in the moment. They focus on um, solutions. This is about um, every baby step forward um, is, is important. Even those pauses. All right. So with the full card here, more dog energy. Some of you may have a dog in spirit. I can't get over this. I mean, this is like, there's a lot of uh, canine energy here, okay? Um, and you may have felt like you were soulmates with this dog. And you have this dog here still by your side, Libra. Um, and I just heard Maisie, Maisie May too for a, a different message. I could connect to a dog, but there's also that, that came in, okay? And... There's going to be something refreshing here, invigorating here. Remember you had that um, Ace of Wands here. That is like one of my favorite cards because it is that get up and go. You've got this. You've decided. You're super duper clear. You've got the uh, Queen of Swords here, right? Very clear. You had those. Uh, you had the Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Sun, the Moon, balancing things out. This is very. Things are going to be a lot more structured for you soon, Libra, and maybe you're working on that right now. This here we have the sun shining right down on this moon. And it's actually, there's a radiance Libra that comes from within you. Okay. There's like a John Muir quote. And part of it is like the sun shines not on us, but in us. 
All right. And I am a believer of that, that we, in fact, are lights in this world. And uh, you never know who's looking up to you. You know, that's been coming through lately. Some of you are very much a role model for others or you're very um, you're just really looked up to. I just received the date of October 7th. I'm also getting sort of a grandmother energy. And in particular, that show, The Golden Girls, is coming up. I'm not sure if that's something you watched or whatever. And there's something important, too, coming up on Thursday for somebody. So I'm getting that on Thursday. And I heard the date is right, the time is right, or so, something about, let me just see here. Um, what about Thursday? Is Thursday, Thursday good? Um, hmm. Yeah, you could have, something special could happen for you on a Thursday coming up, all right? This next Thursday, maybe from whenever you're re viewing this reading, again, it's timeless, but it's I'm, post, I'm posting it in January, 2024, but anyway. Someone special could come into your life, even on a Thursday, but but there is something there. Maybe you were born on a Thursday. Um, uh, somebody's been eating their oatmeal as well. Good job. I mean, that's, I think that's, I think that's good, you know, great. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but there's also, okay, so this, with this uh, full card, you know, when your intentions are pure and you're very clear on something and you set out, you embark on this path, I mean, you're prepared. You've got your boots on. You've got, you know, you're, you're ready for whatever comes your way. Fun, um, uh, with the wisdom here you have because you have that red feather on top of your head there. And, you, and you know, you don't, you're not carrying around all, these, all this baggage, okay? You've got, you're just carrying your lessons and you're, you're optimistic and you're confident here. You're radiating right now, Libra. You're radiating. So don't be surprised if people are more attracted to you or if you're starting to rake in new opportunities. I keep being drawn to Aquarius energy. In fact, it is Aquarius season. So um, that's a very independent uh, energy though. And let me see what else I get here for you, Libra. I'd like to get a, okay, I just heard Donovan. I want to get this new little deck I have. Okay, so let's see. A little money oracle here. I love the little cards. Hey, if you're enjoying this reading, Libra, please do consider subscribing. Definitely hit that like button. Um, that would be great. Let's me know if I should do e even more of these kind of readings, you know? All right. So I'm the kind of person that finds it easy to make money. Yeah, that's a nice mindset to have, okay? That is a great mindset to have. And also maybe say three to four times a day for five minutes. Wow, that's a whole 15, 20 minutes. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> wealth, success, happiness, gratitude, love. Say the words you want to attract to yourself, all right? So being very mindful of what it is you say, uh, making sure what we say and what we do uh, match. And I just see this freedom about you, Libra. You're just, you're letting go of, um, okay, feel and, feel and imagine what you desire. It's already yours. Yeah, that's that magic you're bringing in. You're bringing it in. Um, and when you express gratitude, Libra, I just want to say that, that helps to, uh, you know, allay fears, okay? It helps you surrender fear. And it, and it brings in your desires, your the abundance you're looking for. Um, just, just something simple, like, again, just being grateful. It shows the universe that whatever you receive, you do appreciate, you know? And, uh, okay, that's very simply stated. Sheila. Hello, Sheila and Steven. I kept, I've been getting a name like McBradley for a little while too, or McKean, McQueen, McKean, uh, McQuinn, something. All right, rebuilding here. So this is about you reevaluating your life. This is reinventing yourself, revising, fixing, whatever it is you need to do to thrive in your new opportunities that are coming your way, Libra. This is about you focusing again on what you can control. That is such a message for you this week, Libra, it, or whenever. I'm sorry, I thought I was doing a weekly. No, no, we're doing. So this is, but this is like you conquering. This is you um, uh, having the victory. Okay, you're setting your intention and you're making and you're drawing it towards you. All right, so you're overcoming whatever it is you need to. Okay, you're coping. You're you're more than coping. You're 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 kicking it. You know, you're you're. This is about you resetting your mindset, even uh, letting go of old. Uh, negative narratives, as we talked about, and just um, seeing yourself for uh, for everything you are and all you're capable of, um, and just allowing yourself to to really um, to really shine. Okay, and for some of you, 
you'll be stepping into a long-term commitment coming up soon. Okay. That could be something you were looking for, for some of you anyway. Well, yeah, you're going to have a lot of options here and you may feel a little undecided. All right. And if that's the case, um, take all the time you need. All right. Um, and because it's an important decision, you know, um, take all the time you need. And I do want to get uh, a card from my favorite deck here, at least for now, my favorite. I just It's more tarot. I just want to see if, like some final messages here, Libra. Why don't you go ahead and ask yourself three questions? Like you pause the video if you want, but maybe some of you are seeking direct answers to something. Let's see if I can give you some insight using this tarot deck. All right, so think of your three questions. Maybe pause the video. I'll pull a card for each. I'll clarify if needed. Let's see what we get. So for question one, Libra. Oh, all right, let's see. Here we go. Get this deck going. We haven't used it yet, so not today. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, question one. This will be question two, and this is question three gets two. Interesting. All right. So question one, Libra, you have the 10 of cups. So that is very positive. If you're wondering yes or no, this right now says a yes. Um, this is about, you know, again, that like happy pairing, you're, you're having it all. You're, even if it's not with a partner, you're having it all. You're, um, you're in that 10 of cups energy with the, um, with the, the rainbow and everything and every, you know, it's like bliss. It's like all your wishes coming true. Again, it's you you being able to create that on this in this new phase. Question two. You have the nine of cups. Wow. Again, this is a card of fulfillment, Libra. So you have the ten and the nine of cups. All right. Um, some of you may have to be a little flexible. I'm getting too with this answer to question two. It might be that might tie into the yes, but not exactly as you expected. Okay, but that is another yes card. And, uh, and remember, only take what resonates. You know, these are general readings. You have the four of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. Some of you have been working hard to save. Um, I would say this is like, this could actually be a maybe and a yes. It's sort of like a yes with certain conditions need to be met, okay? So it's not a straightforward yes, but if it's a no or a yes, it's, if I'm gonna say, if you asked a question about love, I'm less certain of a yes, but if you if you're asking about career and wealth, um, overall opportunities, it's like, yeah, but it's going to take some hard work. Or pay attention to the details. There's a yes, but there's one other thing. Let me see. Let me see if we have another. What's on the bottom? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, you're going to need, but it may require a lot of uh, strength. It may require a lot of um, you using your resources. Okay, but it's not a no. Interestingly enough, you have two definite yeses and then almost like a more leaning towards on, it's going to be up to you to keep yourself balanced in a certain situation. All right. And maybe don't give so much. It's like, don't do what you did in your last job or your last situation. Make sure there's like boundaries set um, and uh, that it's really going to offer the security and stability you wanted. So that's again, only for some of you, but let's get you one final. Libra, we always get the strength card or Leo energy. All right. So you have strength card here. And this is, you know, it's about not, um, it's basically, it's about not forcing things. Okay. It's, and it's also seeing yourself and not comparing yourself to others. You're not competing. This is a card of having that strength of will. All right. That drive, that determination. And that's what allows you to manifest what you want. That and the fact that you possess natural skills and talents. All right. Not just the education, natural skills and talents. There's something you do, Libra, that sets you apart from others and makes you the absolute best. Last card. Empress. Em really? So you have <laughs> you have the full card came through for you, the sun, the moon. Uh, who am I forgetting? We have the Empress. You have the hanged one, the magician. This is unbelievable, Libra. Wow, this is great. And you know what? It is believable. You know why? Because I do feel like you're getting spiritual guidance at this time. I feel like a lot of you have been through it and you are throwing all that out. You're ready to begin this new chapter, this new phase. And this is about, you know, seeing yourself 
uh, maybe as, as the, as the awesome person that others see in you, you know, um, and you could, you could get some, uh, answers through meditation for some of you too. Okay. This is about removing all your limiting beliefs though. Okay. It's about uh, co-creation or creation just in general, but remember also too, to, um, have fun. We had a lot of children and uh, dogs come up and both love to have fun, right? So making sure you're playing in life to just, just having, you know, maybe get yourself moving and, and not taking things too serious for this uh, transformation period. Um, very high, high vibration period though. Okay. It's about you now, again, with that sun card, it's you having that awareness that you're, you're truly limitless. You radiate and um, you are capable of creating whatever it is that you want out of life, Libra. It keeps popping up. This possesses all of the power of all four queens. You actually had the Empress twice, Libra. The Empress twice. So you actually, you do have um, numbers wise, you have 10, 10, 10. And you've definitely got three, three. And this, I love this three of wands too, three, three, three. So you have three, three, three and 10, 10, 10 uh, numbers wise that are significant here in this reading. All right. And um, you also had a few eights as well. Okay. So that's, that's really good. I just heard triple eight. I'm not sure if we got triple eight, but, um, oh, we did. We also have triple eight. They told me triple eight. So you have eight, eight, eight and three, three, three and 10, 10, 10. Wow. Lots of numbers. Okay. So again, we had talked about the Empress and you're with this one too. I'm hearing your prayers are being answered and, um, not be, and make sure you're looking in all directions. Make sure you're looking at things carefully, right? If it's like, if, you know, before you choose, but you do choose, you may be choosing from two or three options, actually. Let me keep going here and get you numbers cards, angel number cards for Libra. And then we'll close out this reading. 88 Libra, sign of enlightenment. You have achieved wisdom and you find success. Very true. All right. That's the energy I was feeling. 616, sign of opportunities. Not at all surprised. You're good as gold here, Libra. You are good as gold. Look for the door of opportunities to open. Uh, you're actually kicking that door down. No, but no, you're not being um, forceful about it, right? I just see that you're so ready. You're like coming through that door, you know, like all excited, you know? So this is whatever this is. I feel like you know, sparks could fly even. All right. There's something very passionate about maybe 1515, a sign of faith. So hang in there, Libra. Make necessary changes to achieve your dreams. All right. Um, some of you are decoding something I'm hearing. You're decoding. Decoding. Oh, look at that, Libra. Three, three, three. Your angels guide you to the right path. All right, Libra. I think we can we can go there. We can stop right there. You've got three, three, three here. So many eights and tens. All right. So you are protected. Angels are here. You're on the right path, Libra. And um, yeah, this is definitely, this is uh, something, something long overdue as far as you being rewarded here, Libra. All right. And you're moving forward. You're moving forward and I can see it. I can feel it. And I'm really excited for you. Okay. So please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And um, have a wonderful um, day, week, year, everything. Have a wonderful everything. Thanks so much for joining.